So this is the last section of hair that I have to finish. I'm going to split it into four different sections and then I'll show you how to do the invisible twists, the invisible roots for each one. So I'm going to start off with this section and I'm going to add the Mango Butter Moisturizer and Eco Styler Gel to it. You want to make sure that your hair is well moisturized when you keep it in protective styling. Especially the ends. And this is the QP Olive Oil and Mango Moisturizing Butter and the Eco Styler Gel and Olive Oil. So I use the Marley hair for my Havana Twists and it looks like this. It comes in these little sections and I use two twists at a time. So you want to make sure that you thicken them before you install them because you want to go for the thick look. And you can just pull it apart a little bit at a time on both sides. So from this section, you want to split it into two even parts. Split it apart like this. Then you're going to take the two pieces that you thickened and make sure that they're even on both sides because you don't want one side to end up being longer than the other when you're twisting it. And you're going to place this directly in between the two sections of hair. Now with this side, you're going to start twisting it. And then now you're going to take the other side and you're going to twist it counterclockwise. And you want to make sure that you do this tight and you keep the Havana hair, the Marley twist hair, close to your scalp. So that's what's going to make it secure. And then you just start twisting it like a regular twist. Sometimes this gets really tight, it feels like your hair keeps twisting. I'm going to grab a clip to put here so that it doesn't put stress on your own. And I like to add a 
little bit of gel, gel as I go to make sure that my ends blend in with this hair. No one your hair sticking out of this hair. You want to make sure you twist it all the way down to the very end. And now I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the last three sections of my hair. Now making sure that the initial twists are tight. these invisible roots is what's going to ensure that the style lasts a long time. You don't want it to be hanging away from your hair. You see this little piece of hair sticking out? That's my hair, so I have to redo the twist with a little bit more gel so I don't have that problem. I'm going to try to zoom in to show you what it looks like when you twist both sides in opposite directions and then also a close up of what the roots look like when you're finished with the complete twist. That way you'll get a better picture of what I'm talking about. Practice really does make perfect because the first time I did these twists on this side, I actually redid the first twist about three times before I could get it right. And I bought four packs of hair. It was about five or six dollars a pack. And I used all of it except one piece. I have one piece left over. So I'm lucky that it was a perfect amount. Now children, do, re, mi, fa, so, and so on are only the tools we use to build a song. Once you have these notes in your heads, you can sing a million different tunes by mixing them up, like this. So, so, so. For my ends, you can either 
set them on turn rods, which I might do later, but I just dip them in boiling hot water so that the twists don't come unraveled. And I'll stand up so you can see how long it is. I really like them. They're not too heavy or anything at all. And I was supposed to show you a close-up of the invisible roots. How you can't tell where it's attached. It looks like it's coming straight out of my head. And I just like this because I opted for the more natural look. I don't really like how extensions look when they're just hooked on the outside.